New at six, he has been in office for less than two weeks, but already Representative Brad Ashford is making a name for himself, going against the Democratic Party and voting for the Keystone XL pipeline. Ashford is back in Omaha and sitting down with KETV News Watch 7's Kyle Gravlin. Brandy, newly seated Congressman Ashford says he's already forging relationships on both sides of the aisle. He believes we need to regain our what he calls American exceptionalism and thinks his new peers are poised to make some Congress progress. Representative Brad Ashford says coming together for tough votes on tough issues is what will make the 114th Congress successful. One of those votes is approaching. Ashford supports the Keystone XL pipeline, leaving him in the minority among Democrats. Make sure it's as safe as possible, that it's serving the national interest, which I think it is, and I think it's serving Nebraska interest. Ashford says the ability to refine diesel fuel and bring it back into the state will allow stable pricing for Nebraska's farmers. He hopes to move past the polarizing pipeline and onto other environmental issues. On the energy front, we have a great opportunity. Um, to uh, show our exceptionalism, to, to uh, have a balanced environmental policy. The State of the Union is less than 36 hours away, and a tax proposal from President Obama has been stealing headlines. But Ashford is more excited about a push in infrastructure investment, mainly one that increases public private partnerships. He noted Omaha's CenturyLink Center as an example of the good that can come from such relationships. Of all the things I've heard so far, that's going to put people to work. Infrastructure investment will put people to work in, in, in good paying jobs. As far as the tax proposal, Ashford's taking a wait and see approach for now. I'm always skeptical about raising taxes as a way of, of creating jobs or creating uh, wealth. Ashford says everyone in Congress agrees on job growth and getting people back to work. There's just a difference of opinion on how to get there. Representative Ashford also telling me today he's going to be a member of the House Committee on Agriculture and is excited to serve on the House Armed Services Committee, noting that here at home, STRATCOM is making big strides in defending us from cyber attacks, while Nebraska Medicine has been battling Ebola and other diseases. Brandy? Thanks, Kyle.